Welcome back, everyone. So I actually don't have a video for you this time. Bob hasn't brought me one, and I have no idea where that scroungy little shit is at the moment, so I'm afraid... Wait, was that the... That little prick just scurried down to the dungeon again. Oh, Bob! I know you're down here, you disgusting little vermin. Come out now, and I won't have to get really nasty when I find you. You really should be nicer to the poor soul. What? Who said that? And where are you? I am your humble host. Chambers of my heart are chambers for short. And I'm right here in the mirror. Ah! So that's why Bob likes it down here so much. He's found my looking glass. And I suppose you're the one that's been filling his head with all sorts of comforting nonsense? I have. He is a tortured soul and deserves some comfort. Wouldn't you agree? No. No, I wouldn't. And when I find his sneaky little ass... Before you run off to vent your anger on him yet again, perhaps I could interest you in a video. I hear you have quite a thirst for mocking stupidity. Why, yes. Yes, I do. And... Then perhaps you can vent your anger on this instead. Jesus Christ! My ears are bleeding! I don't know what video editor you're using, but damn, dude, try turning down the music a bit. Making your viewers jump out of their seats isn't a great way to get their attention. It's a great way to lose it. You have way too much bass added here. It kind of sounds distorted, too. Maybe a different track next time. Preferably one that doesn't make your audience question themselves for clicking on your video. It has been rumored by many others that the men going their own way community is actually the male version of feminism. Whoa there, Chief. Right off the top, you've missed the point. No one is saying MGTOW is male feminism. What they're saying is that MGTOW is like feminism. They're making a comparison between the two based on some commonalities like conjuring up vague and all-powerful conspiratorial forces to rally against, ideological purity, confirmation bias, and groupthink. They're not saying they are the same thing, just that they have some general similarities. Feminism and MGTOW are compared to each other side by side to be found that they have similar attitudes and views towards the opposite sex. No one is claiming that both groups preach the same exact message, to which they don't. But the two definitely share the same toxic attitude. The opposite sex is evil. But in this video today, I am going to prove why this claim that many individuals are making regarding the MGTOW community is a false statement. Well, that should be easy enough considering that's not what they're saying. However, while you perform the Captain Obvious routine, let's see if we can point out why this comparison is being made and why there might be some validity to it. Oh, please do. We're not even a minute in and you have shown that the comparison between MGTOW and feminists flies right over your head and why it's made to begin with. Now I'm going to explain why in this video it is a false statement. You said that already. This is going to be painful. I can tell. For starters, we don't agree with the movement of feminism at all, and that also includes the first and second waves of feminism. If anything, we are against feminism, and we will never side and be allies to it. But we are also against gynocentrism, and we are against female hypergamy. So in a way, you could say we're not only just anti-feminist, but we are also anti-gynocentric and anti-hypergamy. Oh! So anti means against. Thanks, Professor. And you really could have just said anti-woman or misogyny, but I'm sure we'll get to that point later. In a nutshell, MGTOW is against women having any say or any advantage whatsoever. Women have to be below you, don't they? And we see feminism for what it really is, which is a movement that promotes women and encourages them to hate men and to give females superior power over men. You could have just said misandry, dude. And I don't disagree there. That's what feminism is. It's gotten way past that point from what I see. 
With science involved, women are trying to eradicate men from the reproduction equation. However, MGTOW are striving for the same goal. This movement emasculates males, but in MGTOW we don't do that. We don't believe in emasculating the male gender. But what we do encourage is for men to hone their masculinity and to become the true masculine male. That is what we promote and encourage in the MGTOW community versus what feminism promotes and what the movement stands for and what their cause is. Fuck, dude. Are you going to repeat yourself every time you say something? I mean, you just said one thing, then repeated it. Then one more thing, and repeated it. Fucking hell, man. And no, MGTOW doesn't emasculate men. You dehumanize women. Well, let's be fair, some of you do. No, but I have seen men shamed for embracing sexual or even romantic relationships with women. MGTOW does shame men for coming out of their man cave and embracing reality like us sane people have. We also believe, as men go into own way community members, that women will never be equal to us, based on genetics and biology. And this, my friend, is one point where you and the feminists are exactly the same. They don't believe women are equal to men either. They think women are superior, and you think men are superior. The problem you both have is misunderstanding what is meant by equal. You both seem to think that equal means the same. It doesn't. Not in this context, anyway. Men have certain value to society, and women have certain value to society. What we mean when we advocate for equality is that their contributions to society should be valued equally. We need them both, and we should value them both. This was the original point of the women's rights movement, before the radical misandrist took over and destroyed the shit for personal empowerment, anyway. Just wow. You know, the same logic can be turned against you. Women, in some ways, are physically stronger than men. Because of the birthing process, we have a higher tolerance of pain, generally speaking. Strength is not defined by biology alone. Yes, men are far more capable of building muscle and increasing their mass due to how different their reproductive system is in comparison to my genders. But that doesn't make us below men. And genetics? Really? That could swing up both ways. There are many things in one's DNA that can make them imperfect and weak. MGTOW have lost sight of what's truly important and how to value both genders, and you wonder why MGTOW is nicknamed the male version of feminism. Idiot. And as men go in their own way, community members, we don't believe in the term equality because it's never going to exist, no matter how hard feminists fight for it. Not in the sense you've both decided fits your narrative, anyway. Indeed, men and women will never be exactly the same. That's painfully obvious. But, as I just mentioned, that's not the goal that normal people have in mind, either. Only ideologues engage in that kind of ego-boosting mental masturbation. Feminism doesn't fight for equality, you idiot. You stated this earlier. Everyone knows this movement doesn't. Real equality would at least give both genders a chance to grow in areas to which they've never been allowed to before, while at the same time acknowledging that there are areas that are not meant for both genders to occupy. Neither MGTOW or feminism fights for this concept nor understands it to begin with. It's never going to happen because what we say regarding women never going to be equal to us, it is just a simple fact. And it's been proven many times based on why women will never be equal to us, no matter how hard they fight in their cause. Jesus Christ, man. You really are going to repeat everything, aren't you? Is this like a mantra or something you use to convince yourself it's true? Gynocentrism, hypergamy, women are shit. Gynocentrism, hypergamy, women are shit. <laughs> you know, I have zombies down here that sound like that. They're about as intelligent, too. I knew this was going to give me a headache. You're as dense as they come. Honestly, are you that locked away in your man cave that no shred of reality is allowed in? You repeating the same statements over and over is not going to make them true. Meanwhile, what we try to do is we go our own way. Without the want and need of a woman, we put ourselves first, and we put our wants and needs first regarding improving ourselves and becoming successful men without having a woman involved in our lives at all. There's already a couple words for that, you know. 
self-centered, selfish, egotistical, narcissistic, vain, conceited, just to name a few. Not really a new thing either. That sort of behavior has been around as long as man. And that's exactly what the feminists do. Oh, another similarity between the two groups. Imagine that. It's quite obvious what happens when one is only out for themselves. Nothing gets solved or even accomplished. It explains why MGTOW hasn't grown any and they become more and more introvert as a whole. Sure, you have more members, but what has MGTOW really accomplished outside of making asses out of themselves? The movement of feminism has always been based on fabrication and lies. Meanwhile, MGTOW has been based on logic and truth regarding many articles, videos, and many other material that is out on the internet regarding women, female hypergamy, gynocentrism. Gynocentrism, hypergamy, women are shit. <laughs> Allow me to steal your role as Captain Obvious for just a second. Not everything on the internet is true. Now that I've stated the painfully obvious, let me also add that watching many of you MGTOW's videos, I see a plethora of opinions, shitloads of personal anecdotes, but very little truth in the capital T sense that you seem to be implying here. Of course, some MGTOW are better at this than others, but the vast majority of you content creators don't provide any truth at all. Just repetitive buzzwords, generalizations, and personal bitching. Just like feminists. You're really using the internet argument? How about from real life? Many people let their past hurts dictate to them to how they should function. It's what the feminists do too. They don't deal with their hurt or insecurities just like MGTOW don't and they let themselves become enveloped in their own hatred and anger. Not surprising that this is the result to be honest. It's quite expected. And the notion that women hate men, especially if they are a feminist. We also gain the knowledge of women based on our own personal life experience, past events and even current events regarding female nature and their behavior and how women behave, especially the millennial women in these millennial times. And this is what I meant by groupthink. I've watched a lot of MGTOW videos, and to be fair, it's not all, but I can say it's probably the majority, or at least the majority on YouTube anyway, that like to just group all women together and judge. This is precisely what feminists do with men. They judge all men based on something some men do. Doesn't even need to be a majority either. One man does it, then all men are guilty of it. This is the same sort of groupthink I'm seeing out of MGTOW. Many of the YouTube MGTOW have had some bad experiences with women. That's fine. I mean, shit, who hasn't? But unless you're all some kind of supermen that have managed to meet two or three billion people in your relatively short lives, your sample size is pretty damn small. Judging all women based on your own shitty experiences with a few, is no different than the feminist mindset. Demonizing all men because my ex was a piece of shit. This is why people are saying MGTOW is just feminism for men. Well, one of the reasons anyway. You both think along the same lines. Removing individuality in favor of groups so you can demonize all at once. It's childish and silly. Any man who judges by the group is a peewit. So, in a sense, it's like you got kicked in the balls and had your spine ripped out, and instead of actually putting ice on your aching groin or working on your insecurity, you're going to walk around crying while holding your aching balls, all the while ignoring the ice packs that people are trying to give you. That's just fucking sad, dude. I will say this, there are legitimate reasons for some guys to permanently walk away and keep to themselves, but a lot of you are just wanting man children to see the least. Take the damn ice pack and work on regrowing a pair. For many individuals to claim that we are a hate group against females, it is a false statement because we don't hate women. But we feel we have a strong indifference towards women based on the females that treat men poorly their bad female behavior, and the way most millennial women are in these millennial times. This appears to be another common MGTOW mantra. We don't hate women. We don't hate women. Okay, so are we to believe that in MGTOW land, indifference means generalizing, degrading, dehumanizing, demonizing, and blaming women for all the problems in the world? Because that's what the majority of you are doing. 
I mean, we can split hairs here if you like, but sure sounds like hate to me. Just like the feminists who insist that they don't hate men. They just generalize, degrade, dehumanize, demonize, and blame us for all their problems. So, the mentality that women are beneath MGTOW and any man who pursues marriage with one is a mangina isn't hateful? How about women just being sex objects or easily replaceable? No, that's not hateful. Because I don't know how many MGTOW I've come across that spout that shit. I dare say I've seen attitudes go farther into physical violence against women. No. MGTOW isn't hateful towards women at all. I wonder where that idea even comes from. If men go in their own way community members were feminists... Bah! I'm gonna stop you right there. I've already explained that's not what people are saying. We really don't need to go over it again, regardless of your conveniently placed mantra. No, not again. At this point, I believe you to be a parrot for this group and nothing more. Parrots are only good for repeating and not actually reasoning. It's pointless to argue with one. But I get what many individuals are saying when they say that MGTOW is basically the male version of feminism. Uh, no. As the last several minutes illustrate, you really don't get it at all. Like hell you do. Just how many times have you repeated yourself? And just how many times have you demonstrated that the comparison flies right over your head? Like I said, parrot! But I must ask this question. What do you expect men to do when they are put in a difficult position? Sometimes an impossible position. What do you expect men to do against gynocentrism, female hypergamy, and the bad female nature of women? Gynocentrism, hypergamy, women are shit. How about you grow the hell up and find an actual woman? How about dealing with your own insecurities and quit projecting your hurt and frustrations on the entire female population? How about embracing reality for a change? Find your damn spines again. At least find some ice. Shit. Do you expect men to continue to keep on dating them? To keep giving women a chance? That's not what's going to happen. Because those kind of females are going to end up dragging a man down if a male does not focus on himself and focuses on working on himself. Which is what he needs to be really doing. Instead of paying any attention to these females that are going to pull him and drag him down. Especially if that female happens to be a feminist. I don't expect you to date anyone if you don't want to. No one's forcing you to, so I don't see the problem. And working on yourself is fine, too. Nothing wrong with trying to be the best you can be at whatever it is you wanted to do. But doing so purely because you blame women for all your ills is just a cop-out and intellectually dishonest. You're selfish and egotistical. Just admit it. Why do you need to make up some fancy new buzzwords and demonize all women? You're self-centered. Nothing wrong with that unless you're letting women make you feel guilty for it. Nah, can't be that. You don't care what women think, right? Can I tell you a little secret? I'm MGTOW too. In the real sense, not the YouTube misogynist club sense. I went my own way and liked it, but not because of women. I did it because I'm a self-centered egotistical prick. I don't need women to be the devil. I'm an asshole. If I were them, I wouldn't want to put up with me either. So why would I blame them for that? That's my character flaw, not theirs. Um, it's called being picky with your partners. It's called taking your time developing a romantic relationship with a woman. Also, you men do some fucked up shit to women too. Women are not the only ones that drag men down. Why do you think third wave feminism is a thing? Both men and women have harmed each other. And what do you expect men to do? regarding the laws that are stacked against them and the many unfair laws that are against men. Personally, I expect them to be men. You know, grow some fucking balls and lead. Get this shit changed. Retreating to a safe space and hoping someone else will fix the broken shit for you is what I expect feminists and snowflakes to do, not men. How about being active in men's problems instead of being wet dogs? How about instead of fighting the MRAs, work with them? They actually fight for the issues of men and see the value of both genders. Until you crybabies get that through your head, nothing you set out to achieve will get accomplished. Nothing beneficial to society anyway. Men are not going to continue playing the game. And if a man is mistreated so many times, and if he is mistreated enough by women, 
he is going to revolt and he's going to resent against this and against a society that promotes men to become emasculated. No, that's what boys are going to do. Men will get up, dust themselves off, and try to fix this shit. And women aren't going to stand to be degraded either, you moron. Just like feminists, MGTOW wants to demote the opposite sex in an order to promote themselves. Both groups are a detriment to society. Against all odds, in this kind of society, we're only doing what's the most reasonable thing to do. And that is, by not dating women anymore, by not marrying women anymore, by not giving females a chance, because for so many years, Women have abused their power, and they are totally screwing up. Just like feminists. Bitch about and blame the past. I'll tell you the same thing I tell them. We can't fix the past. No one can. It's fucking over already. Learn from the past to do better in the future. Don't fucking live there. And men haven't royally fucked things up either? Seriously? You're going with the mentality of one gender being holier than the other? It's no wonder why any sane person won't take MGTOW seriously. You guys are just as delusional as the feminists, if not more on some levels. But against all odds, I only find it reasonable for a man to say, no more of this, and he's going to stand up for himself. But instead, what he's going to do is not give women a chance at all. Instead, he walks away from the plantation completely, and he focuses on his own interests and what is going to make him happy. Because that's the mature thing to do. When you fall off a bike, fuck it. Never get back on. Bikes are just shit. When your car breaks down, fucking junk that thing and walk from now on. All cars are shit. You see what I'm getting at here? Everyone faces adversity. How you deal with it is the difference between boys and men. So, with that logic, men shouldn't be given a chance either seeing just how many mistakes they make as well. Both genders are faulty. Both genders contribute with their strengths and weaknesses. You're too clouded by your own hurt and insecurities to see that, though. And these days, due to how most women are based on feminism and what feminism has done to them, even their own bad female behavior, hypergamy, gynocentrism, and their nature Gynocentrism, hypergamy, women are shit. For the love of God, I don't know how much more I can listen to. It has really changed them for the worst, which is the reason why many good men like ourselves, who carry high morality and choose to hone our masculinity, are simply saying no more. And we are walking off the plantation completely. Like I said, that's not the behavior of good men. That's the behavior of immature boys. You lost a game, so you take your toys and go home. Men don't. They learn and either try again or fix the fucking rules. Oh no, the lot of you are wimping out and homing your masculinity. Do you MGTOW forget what is a part of that? Being an actual leader in society and your home. Taking care of those around you, whether it be your wife or children or perhaps your alien mother actually taking a stand against what is hurting those who you care for. As you said though, MGTOWER only care for themselves, so how the hell can you even grasp what I'm saying to begin with? MGTOWER aren't men, but overgrown boys who don't get their way are rather that is what the movement has become, unfortunately. I don't have any questions for today in this video, but I do gotta ask this. Do you agree with my points that I made in this video? And do you think I made more than enough valid points in this video to prove that these people are wrong? No. All you managed to prove was that you don't understand what is meant by the comparison, and while trudging through your buzzwords and mantras, you've actually illustrated exactly why the comparison is made in the first place. So congrats for that, I guess. At least you accomplished something anyway. Arrogance doesn't make your movement look any better, you know. If anything, you furthered the comparison, solidified it, I say. Bravo, you just made MGTOW look like even more of a joke. Well, that's the end of that. I must say, seeing more of his kind is really frustrating. Either way, I must take my leave. Try not to be so hard on Bob. You did lock him down here for a while, after all. He had to find something to preoccupy his time. 
I'm sure you got all of your anger out at this point, yes? Hmm. All? Never. I wasn't cursed for nothing, you know. But I'm sated for now, anyway. That's good, because I wouldn't push Bob too far if I were you, Count. Ha! Too far. There's no such thing for the likes of him. Besides, he should be grateful. After all, he's alive. I could have just drained him and tossed him out like the rest. Well, that's not something Bob has to really worry about anymore. I mean, you could always try, but from what I hear, your kind isn't too fond of garlic. You didn't. One should learn to appreciate those beneath them. I wouldn't recommend taking a bite out of Bob any time soon, Count. Best keep your fangs to yourself. Farewell. Hmm. Just what I need around here. A meddling sorceress poking her nose in my business. Fangs to yourself. Ha! So the witch thinks she's gotten one over on me, hey? I don't need to bite that stupid shit to make him suffer. That's it for this time, folks. I'll see you all next time. Oh, Bob! Ha 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 ha!